What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are up, we are up against Kane, who's bringing a very solid team all around. Rillaboom, obviously a big threat. Um, Mandibuzz, I've not seen in a long time, but it does remain a big threat. And the Tarus, we all know, is one of my personal favorites because of Retaliate. So, respect to Kane for using the team he's using. Now, what I'm going to do here, I am running, just so you're aware, here's my Ferrothorn. My Ferrothorn is packing the Stealth Rock, the Spikes, the Leech Seed, and the Knockoff. So you already know this Ferrothorn is about to get very annoying. Now, what I really want to do, I kind of want to start Ferrothorn. I really do. He doesn't really necessarily have a lead that I feel like he's going to start with no matter what. Rabu is also a very good option because we're packing U-Turn. We can U-Turn out of there. We can honestly both switch out of there. I just don't want him to start Rillaboom. We can also go into the Digger Speed and just um, also U-turn out of there. So we got options. We definitely do have options. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the Raboot though, because I am afraid of the Rillaboom. Heavily, heavily, heavily afraid of the Rillaboom. So we're gonna start Raboot, and I don't remember Raboot's base speed. So I'm gonna check that right now before the battle. And it's 94, so we will outspeed the Mimikyu. Um, that is the only thing I wanted to check, is my base speed with the Raboot, because as you can see, we're bringing a new team, and we built around Raboot this time around, so that's going to be very fun to me. Is Raboot as good or better than Cinderace? That's the question of the day, and let me know what you guys think. Now, I know for a fact we do not outspeed the Tarus. I know that for sure, so we're going to get the hashtag out of there, especially after an Intimidate, we're going to get the hashtag out of there, so... I'm gonna go out into our boy Ferrothorn. Um, I think, I think Tarus gets a fighting type move, right? And I don't think actually, if it does, I don't even know what Tarus packs. I don't remember. I am a little bit scared. So Rabu, return, come back here, and I will go over my team recap here in just a moment. So we're gonna go ahead and go out into the Ferrothorn. He's gonna go for the Earthquake, which um, we should be able to take. We'll take that easily. Um, I really want to knock off. See what if he switches out and we get a knock off an item off of somebody. If he stays in, we get to see what item this thing is t is carrying. So it's perfectly fine. Bayo not in the, the oh I thought this one Mandy best for a second. Interesting. Mystical fire is a thing, and that's probably why he decided to go out into the bayonetta, and we get rid of the leftovers, which is awesome for us. Bad for my opponent. We're gonna go out into the. Lantern now. Lantern is making a comeback and for you guys in the battle hub You guys already know how I feel about Lantern. I love Lantern with I, I love Lantern so much That's all I got to say So obviously this thing going for a calm mind is very very scary and I think it gets giga drain So we're just gonna go ahead and bolt switch out of there Don't want to put too much thought into things that are just gonna try to play as conservative as possible So we're gonna bolt switch and do I want to go Rabu? I think a Flare Blitz from a Rabu is going to hurt. But. But. Dustnor. Dustnor is very tempting also. I'm going to go into the Dustnor here. This is a Dustnor from Generation 5, as you can, or 6, as you can see, with the Power of Punch. And it's shiny. This is one of the first Pokemon I've ever bred that's a shiny Pokemon. So I love Dustnor because of that. So he's going to hit me with the Draining Kiss. We should be able to take it, right? No, oh, we that, that that does way too much. What? It, what? They're telling me Dusclops is better than Dusnor. I don't believe that. I'm not gonna believe that one bit. So um, we're just gonna power up punch and shadow sneak because I want to make sure that I can knock this thing out. Not oh, he's dynam he's dynamaxing. Great, great. Now we're in trouble. I gotta think really quick, what do I got that's gonna knock this thing out? Because I do not got the steel type attack on my Ferrothorn, and that is obviously a problem. Gigantamax Hatterene is such a beautiful Pokemon. It's almost the same as the regular Hatterene. And I did go power, he's probably like, why the hell are you going power punch? I wanted to get a plus one. I really did. I really did. And I didn't think he'd go to the Mindstorm here, or Dynamax, let alone that. I thought he was going to hit me with the Draining Kiss again. Obviously wrong. Obviously wrong. I, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do here, guys. I really don't. 
We got a band. We got a choice band. We got gunk shot for a reason, right? Let's go ahead and use it. We're gonna try it out. All right. Rabu, I love you more than Cinderace. Hit this. Uh, we're not gonna knock out. I, I, I messed up. Libero kicks in, obviously, so this is stab. Unfortunately, though, it's not enough to knock out. Man, we get the poison, Rabu. You did good. You did good as far as that goes. Mindstorm is gonna knock us out. He's gonna knock us out, and that's okay. I'm sorry, Rabu. I really am. I didn't think things clearly like I should have, but I'm kind of panic playing right now because his team is very scary to me. Um, I'm just gonna go into the Diggers B and I'm just gonna earthquake. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm. This song reminds me so much of Naruto. It's not even funny. We're just gonna earthquake here. I am huge power, so this should knock out from this range, and it does. It's a crit! I don't think the crit matters. I'm gonna say it doesn't matter. Okay. Adarine is gonna go way down. And we're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna hope for the best. If you wanna go out into the, the Mandibuzz, I'm gonna go out into my Ferrothorn and I'm just gonna Leech Seed. I am scared of Rillaboom though. I have nothing for Rillaboom. And we've already seen a Rillaboom with the Drain Punch before. We don't want to see another Rillaboom with the Drain Punch or a Superpower. I don't want to see any of those Rillabooms. Donkey Kong the Rillaboom comes out. Yeah, so that's not good. Not good at all. Obviously, he's going to threaten me with the Grassy Glide, and I need to get the hashtag out of there. Um, and Ferrothorn's the play. It's gonna come down to Diggers being Halucha. The other two Pokemon can go down. All right, Ferrothorn comes out. You're gonna hit me with that. Oh, knockoff also. Very well played. Well played, my friend. Very well played. Now, this is an opportunity for me to really start setting hazards and making them pay for switching so much. So I really want to. Um, yeah, I'm gonna Stealth Rock Spikes. I gotta set these hazards up. I gotta set these hazards up. You withdraw Donkey Kong, that's okay. And Simon Says comes out. The Tarus, which is packing the fighting type attack. I already know that. What do I got as a workaround though? What can take the fighting type attack? Honestly, I have nothing that can take the fighting type attack if I'm being quite honest. Maybe Halucha. And then we can Sword Dance on the Switch. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, I can Lantern and Scald, but I think Halucha is going to be the better play. I'm going to go to Halucha, Swords Dance, and hope for the best. That's it. That's what we do. Oh, okay. That's actually good for us. So now I feel like he's banded or something. I'm gonna Swords Dance here, and I saw him running Sky Attack, so Power Herb should have been the item, not 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 my Citrus Berry. So Candle Jack comes out, which is the Mimikyu, and I don't mind that to be honest. Actually, I do mind that, don't I? I forgot about the Mimikyu. I forgot about the Mimikyu. He's gonna hit me with the Play Rough. I got a poison jab here. I lost this Wi-Fi battle, dude. I'm just playing like garbage. I'm playing like absolute garbage. Just come on, miss this play rough for me. That's all I ask for. Please miss this play rough. Oh, that's awesome for me. That's actually very good. What are you gonna bring in? Feral Thorn, please? Lantern. I'm okay with that. You're gonna hit me with that T wave. <laughs> I wish I was Volt Absorbed. But I'm water absorbed. Um, and the reason I'm water absorbed is because I got the Diggers B and I got the Rabu. So I really want to try to catch some. Uh, I want to try to catch some attacks. Now, I'm honestly just going to discharge here. I can discharge for free. I could even Scald for free. I think Scald is a better play because I'll burn something. If I burn this Mimikyu, that is, that's going to be huge. Especially after the Swords Dance. 
So we're gonna scald here. Come on, burn it, please, Lantern. Oh, come on, Lantern. Come on, Lantern, what you doing? What you doing out there? Play rough, miss. He hits me. We take it. Just like I thought we would. Get the burn. If you don't get the burn, I'm I'm probably gonna release. I'm not releasing this Lantern. Lantern's too, too much of my favorite Pokemon to release. All right, so Lantern unfortunately goes down, did everything it can to try to win, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. So what we're gonna do here, we got to go for the Digger's Bee, and the reason behind that is because even though Earthquake is very predictable, it's, it's, it's the play. It's the play. And he can't necessarily hit me with the, with the um, gosh darn, what's it called? Um, what's that? Shadow Sneak. He can't hit me with the Shadow Sneak. That's why I went into the Digger's Bee. Now, oh man, this, I'm still, I'm still down. I'm still behind in this Wi-Fi battle. He has some very good Pokemon in the back. Just like this Margo, the Mandibuzz. Ferrothorn's obviously the switch. Ferrothorn is obviously the switch. It's kind of a shame I don't got the rock type attack on my diggers beat. The fog. That's that's good. That's good for you. I really don't mind that because I'm honestly going to leech seed. I'm gonna leech seed here. Get a I'm gonna get a little bit annoying. You're gonna foul play, that's okay. That does a significant amount of damage, but so Margo takes some damage also. So I'm gonna leech seed here, try to get something going for us. And this is probably a Rocky Helmet Margo, so I gotta be really careful with going for the um, for that attack that I'm carrying. I forget um, the knockoff. I gotta be really, really careful. I really want a Stealth Rock. Part of me wants a Stealth Rock, but I also want to knock off the Rocky Helmet. I'm gonna rock off. The, I'm gonna knock off the Rocky Helmet. You withdraw, that's awesome for us. Go into the Tarus. Oh, Donkey Kong comes out. I don't mind that either. I don't mind that. I'm scared of Donkey Kong, believe it or not. I'm very scared of Donkey Kong. I'm gonna knock off here, get rid of its item, and the Salt Vest. Interesting, I've never run across an Assault Vest Donkey Kong before. Um. Honestly, I, I set up the Stealth Rock here. Again, I want to put pressure on this Mandy Buzz every time it comes out. And with the HP it had, when it comes back in, I should be able to knock it out with with um, with Alucha. Drain Punch. Why did that catch me off guard again? I, would, I should have expected that. It's a crit! Wow. That's just my luck, boys and girls. That's my luck. Don't, not, nothing, nothing new. For real, though. I'm going to Stealth Rock here. And you can honestly go for another Drain Punch. I don't care about Ferrothorn anymore. That sounds messed up, but Ferrothorn did what it needed to do. It did. I gotta take this call. I gotta take this call real quick. I'm gonna mute it. Hello? Oh yeah, how's it going? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Thursday. Oh, it's ready? Okay, that's... Okay. Yeah, I'll actually be over at around 6. I just want to call for my girlfriend because she's at work and she's going to pick it up. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. All right, bye-bye.
okay, so sorry about that. I purchased a vehicle for my girlfriend. Well, we're, we purchased it, is, is the right term. And um, basically, we've been having some problems with the dealership giving us the vehicle. And finally, the car is ready. So I really need to take that call, and I apologize. Um, but the reason I went into the Halucha is because I wanted a sword stance. I was anticipating the switch. And then I'm just going to Dynamax because he tried to Dynamax to beat me. I'm going to Dynamax to beat him. And I'm going to max Airstream here. I'm going to make this Halucha as fast as possible. You're going to be a fast Lucha. You're going to be a fast Luchador. This person's now going to be afraid of me. You should not have Dynamax against me, bruh. And I do feel bad Dynamaxing, and I feel like I say that every single time I Dynamax, but, I mean, come on. No need to Dynamax. You wouldn't have put me in this big hole without Dynamax. Ecto's gonna go down, and I'm the fastest Pokemon in the world right now. And this is a win. He's probably gonna even Rage Quit right now. I would Rage Quit, but at the same time, if I Dynamax first, I would've been like, yeah, I had this coming. That's what you get for Dynamaxing! Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Daddy Mac. Don't Dynamax against me, please, because you'll regret it. I'll see you guys next time.